Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel, I'm Bill. Uh, this video is going to be a uh, Call of Cthulhu video. This is to help new players. Um, if you've never played Call of Cthulhu before, this is going to give you ideas on where to go to find certain pieces of information, especially in like a 1920s Call of Cthulhu game. Where when, say, I first started playing Call of Cthulhu, I came from D&D &D background, so I was more used to finding the enemy, hacking and slashing them, than I was trying to find information. So hopefully this will be some help to you guys and give you more ideas and more options on where you could find certain pieces of information that are not as obvious as, let's go ask this guy who was a witness and this other guy who might have seen something or, or was there. So the first thing you can do is you could always research the old newspapers but the majority of the old newspapers are not kept in the library as they are today. They are kept at the uh, printer or the, new, the journalist office in town. So wherever the newspaper is being made, it, they keep old ones back for history and whatnot. And eventually, as it gets closer to the 60s and whatnot, they would uh, donate all that to a library to keep instead of them keeping it themselves. Uh, and that can get you that information. You could go to, if you need to know who owned the house or the chain of ownership, you can go to the courthouse and get an actual list of who has owned the house and who currently owns the house or piece of property. If you need to get arrest records or information on open investigations that have already been done, most of the time you can go to the police, especially if your character has uh, is involved with the police or works with the police, you'd have more favorable chances of getting this information. Uh, from there, if you need to know the history of the area or any lost knowledge or old journals from people that used to live in the area, you could check out a library. <coughs> the only downside with the library in the 1920s is it was before they were very organized as they are now today. So you would spend hours to days trying to find information and topics compared to maybe an hour today trying to find at least a book on a topic. And that's assuming somebody misplaced it badly today. So from there, if you need to know the condition of somebody that was on the scene or somebody that was you were working with or you know that was injured, you could go to the uh, hospital and get, uh, if you're a physician, you could get the uh, report on how they're doing. If you're not, you might need to do a little bit of role playing to get it, but that's where you would go to get that information. If you need information about a death, like what caused the death, you could go to the coroner's office and get a copy of the coroner's report or at least look over the coroner's report, depending upon if you had to break in or not. If you need information about a lawsuit or a court ruling, you could go to a law office or a courthouse. If you need to confirm somebody's uh, death or uh, burial, you can go to the graveyard. Now, if you need to get a hold of some rumors or some stories from the locals, you can go to a few places, diners, bars, dance halls, speakeasies. Uh, speakeasies are more prevalent in the 1920s because of prohibition. But after the night, after prohibition ends in the 1930s, you have uh, bars returning and that's where you can go to the, get your information. Uh, if you need to get a hold of uh, mob contact, rumors, orders from the mob or whatnot, you go to gambling uh, establishments and speakeasies. Uh, if you wanted to get a hold of some more of the underground element, you could go to uh, an underground boxing match or animal fights, as well as what I said before, gambling, speakeasies, etc. And that's where you can get the majority of your information that's not obvious to a first-time player. 
The other obvious stuff is following the clues you have in each scenario. And you don't need to go to all these for uh, each scenario. You could take what you get in the first couple of uh, scenes or first scene itself and go, okay, these are the clues we got. Where do we want to go to find out more information? Well, I need to know about this place and I need to know about that person. And then you can figure out where you need to go to try to acquire that information. But the majority of Call of Cthulhu for every uh, scenario or adventure, uh, you spend the first bit learning about what's going on, if you can handle what's going on, what might be going on versus what really is going on. You just wouldn't know the really part until later in the scenario. And if your adventure doesn't believe in the mythos at the beginning, you have to play into that. So you're not going to jump to the conclusion, oh, it's uh, aliens doing this. So it can be a lot of fun and it can be very frustrating if you didn't know you had all these uh, areas you can go to get information. So hope this is helpful until we all game again, guys.